he's Nicholas Mack. This is a, quite a short one for tonight. There are some long ones coming in the next few days, okay? Now, if some of you watched my live streams past, past couple of days, you would have seen that, um, one of my schools, we have quite a few older laptops that we have to um, do stuff with, basically, or get rid of. So I decided to, you know, well, let's make them usable again, even if it's only for one or two years. It will get some more use out of them, and more kids in the schools can have laptops to use in class. Now, there are certain OSs you can get for this. So EduBunter is one, but it's not been updated for such a long time that it's just a no-no. And there, we need something quite light. Bear in mind these laptops are really quite old at the end of the day. Yes, they're probably 34-bit. Did I say 34-bit? <laughs> Sorry, I'm really stuffed up. Got this flu thing going around. They are 64-bit. So we can use, use a 64-bit distro. So that'd be fine. So I've been having a play tonight, and I've done one video tonight, and I've started another, okay? So the first one I based it on was Lubuntu, okay? What I thought, nice and light, really, really light. I'll get all the programs I want to use. Easy on the network, super duper. Unfortunately, I had a few problems after getting some stuff going down on it, okay? It just didn't want to work as I wanted it to work. And I'll show you in the video tomorrow. You'll see the video tomorrow, okay? It's ready to go, but I've uh, scheduled it to upload tomorrow. But yeah, unfortunately... Unless I want to spend more time with it, which I don't, excuse my bunged up status, um, we can't actually, in the short space of time I've got, I can't actually do most with it, okay? So the next one was Peppermint. Now Peppermint's basically ready to go, okay? So that'd be the second distro I'll be using doing this, okay? To see if it would work in a school environment for on an old machine. Basically, remember, they're not going to use web apps most of the time. Okay, there's not many inbuilt apps we use in schools anymore, to be honest with you. Okay, so it's quite good. Bearing in mind, Peppermint won't work on really high machines. Well, not mine anyway. It doesn't work on the Threadripper or the 5960. So that's a bit of a bummer, isn't it, really? Uh, does it work on a Ryzen 7? I'm not sure if I've, anybody got a Ryzen 7 that's got it to work. But hey, it might do. But hey, it'd be nice if it did. But hey, moving on. Now, my main hope for this is Zubuntu will come up trumps, basically. So what we're going to do, we're going to try the 17.10 versions. Oh, sorry, 17.10.01 as it is now. Okay. And give it a go. That's what I've got, Zubuntu, is a 17.10.01. And we're going to give Zubuntu 17.10.01 a go, too, to see if it fulfills everything I need it to do at the end of the day. Uh, but, or we could just go to Zorin Core and install the educational stuff. But remember, it's a GNOME desktop at the end of the day. I'm not really sure if I'm quite happy with that, because it would just take up too much. But I'm going to give it a go and see what happens on real hardware. Not in the box, on real hardware. Unfortunately, I might have to use... And no, actually, no. I will do real hardware on Peppermint too. Although it won't install on my Threadripper or the um, 5960X, it will install on the 6600, so I'll probably do it on that one. be easier, wouldn't it? And we'll see what happens. Okay. Because I really want this to get off. I've got the 30 to 60 laptops doing nothing, and we need to get them doing stuff. Okay. be really, really good for all the schools in the area if we can get this up and running. Okay. be really super. So it's a really quick one from me. You'll see the first video tomorrow. Sneaky Linux out. See you later. Bye bye.